Hey, that was Tucson's legendary head football coach Jeff Skurin after he notched his 300th career coaching win while at Catalina Foothill. Skurin now has 306 career victories and is coming out of retirement in hopes of adding more. Good morning to you. I'm Paul C. Collin. It's now official. Jeff Skurin is the head coach for the Rio Rico High School football team. The Santa Cruz Unified School District voted unanimously last night to approve the hire. For Jeff Skurin, this will be the fourth winless team he's taken over. And get this, USA Today once said that Skurin is the only coach to have ever taken over three winless teams and put them in the playoffs the following season. With Rio Rico, Skurin is hoping to extend that record to four. Skurin has coached three different teams to state titles in high school and eight championship games overall. He coached at Pima College in his first football team ever and upset the defending national champs Glendale College in the school's inaugural game. The team also knocked off Kilgore College of Texas on national TV in the Pilgrims Pride Bowl despite being a 40-point underdog. This will be my uh, ninth head coaching job and every one of them had a losing season. Three of them were zero wins so this is going to be my fourth zero win team. In, in many ways I just can't believe it. It kind of unfolded really in the last uh, a few weeks and uh, you know it's, it's funny how life just turns around and, and gives you opportunities and and you know when good things come by you got to be ready to jump. Hey the Arizona football team already ended one dreaded losing streak the 20 game skid no longer exists and now it's rivalry week the Territorial Cup U of A and ASU and the Wildcats are hoping to snap that other losing streak. Talked to our team about the traditions we talked to them about 1899 when the first game was ever played uh, talk to them about um, the record. We have a chance this year to win the 50th, have our 50th win, and it's been five years. Five years since the Wildcats last won it, and 10 years since the Wildcats last won a road game in the football series. All right, moving on to college hoops, and your Arizona Wildcat women's basketball team has just jumped into the top 10. Arizona moved up two spots to number nine in the Associated Press poll. Next up for the Wildcats, three games in three days over the Thanksgiving holiday weekend. The Wildcats are headed to paradise in the Caribbean. Being in the Virgin Islands will also include some fun in the sun. I personally have never been to St. Thomas. Um, the only place I've ever been actually travel with this program is Hawaii, so very excited to get somewhere else. Invite me to Long. I want to go to the Caribbean. All right, that's it for now. I'm Paul C. Kala for News 4 Tucson Sports. Have a blessed Wednesday. In this community in many, many ways. Investigating for you is exactly what it says. We're out there for you, the public. We're out there. We're the voice for the voiceless because you earn their trust. And once you do that, you're good. But you have to have people trust you. And you have to trust them as well. The News for Tucson Investigators. Investigating for you. Guys, do you suffer from erectile dysfunction? Now there's great news. Peak Performance for Men will help you regain your performance and confidence naturally. Peak Performance for Men uses an advanced form of acoustic wave therapy, clinically shown to open up and regrow blood vessels, restoring normal and natural function ability where it counts most. There are no needles, no surgery, and best of all, no pain. Call now and receive an ultrasound. Your initial consultation, all for free, in over $300 value. Call Peak Performance for Men today. Wherever your journey takes you this winter, get away with our best deals of the season. Right now, get huge savings on the entire lineup of award-winning Hyundai vehicles at the Hyundai Getaway Sales Event. With new cars arriving just in time for the holidays, it's the perfect time to get a Hyundai. Get 0% APR on the Sonata or Elantra and make zero payments until 2022. Visit buyhyundai.com today. Experience the comfort of great design. Copenhagen. Now through December 5th, experience the comfort of additional savings with Copenhagen sales tax discount offer or choose 24 months special financing. Classic design, timeless beauty, and quality craftsmanship. Copenhagen, for the way we live. Visit us in store or shop copenhagenliving.com. Going on. I can't afford streaming anymore, so. Sure you can. State Farm has rates that fit your budget. Oh, good. 
because some true crime would be nice. Like a good neighbor, State Farm is there. Call or click to get a quote today. I'm tired of hearing no. It's even no Bimber. So I'm giving no the bird and calling it yes, Bimber. Say yes to a nice new car and say yes to payments as low as $1.99 per month. I'm Scott Lehman and I'm a dealer for the people. This isn't a bank ad, so we don't need to show you vague community stock footage. We can show you places you know and call home because we call them home too. When you manage your money with a credit union, you're taking true ownership of your finances and how your money impacts the community. Stop letting banking just happen to you. Bring your money home to Vantage West. Catch Friday Football Fever at 10 p.m. right here. Dollar Tree is raising its prices from $1 to $1.25 on the majority of its products by the first quarter of 2022. The company said its decision to raise prices permanently was, quote, not a reaction to short-term or transitory market conditions. They say selling products for $1 hindered the company and they had to stop selling some customer favorites. Flu outbreaks are already popping up in some parts of the country, including here in southern Arizona. Jen Sullivan shares why experts are warning that this flu season may be worse than last year. Flu season may be getting underway, and health experts are concerned about the spread of the virus this year. It's very possible we'll experience a more severe flu season than we did last year. Uh, many experts are predicting that. Family doctor Jennifer Cottle says the flu is back after essentially taking a break last season when COVID-19 put a bigger emphasis on public health measures like hand washing, mask use and social distancing, which helped keep flu activity low. The CDC recommends the flu vaccine for all people six months or older and says that it is safe to receive both the COVID-19 vaccine and the flu vaccine at the same time. If you can do it conveniently in one visit. So whatever it takes to get both of them, go ahead and do it. If it's one visit, it's perfectly fine. We're already seeing clusters of cases popping up in different parts of the country. Last week, the CDC confirmed it's helping investigate an outbreak of more than 500 flu cases among students at the University of Michigan. That's the biggest single outbreak so far. Experts say the misconception that the flu shot makes people sick often keeps them from getting it. If you don't feel well after the vaccine, sometimes it's merely our response to the vaccine. And also remember, it takes about two weeks for the, the flu shot to actually develop protectiveness in our body. Meanwhile, a recent report from the CDC shows influenza viruses may pose a risk to healthcare systems already overburdened by the coronavirus pandemic. The last thing we need is for there to be even more burden on the healthcare system and people getting further ill. For today's Health Minute, I'm Jen Sullivan. I did some early shopping this year. One for you, one for me. I love it. I got us a little something, too. Yeah? Yep. One for you. And one for me. I love it. Oh, actually, that would... I love it. I like red. Current eligible GMC owners get over 2,500 purchase allowance on 2021 GMC Sierra light duty crew cab models when you finance through GM Financial. We are professional grade. GMC. The problem with coffee is that you have to make coffee before you've had coffee. Good thing all you have to do is head over to Mickey D's. Now at McDonald's, get any size premium roast coffee for just a dollar. Ba -da -ba -ba -ba. Your HVAC system worked very hard this summer, and now it's heating season. Let Tucson's award-winning Dynamic Comfort AC and Heating perform a 40-point checkup for just $39. Call today and beat the rush for your $39 40-point checkup. It's our 65th anniversary sale at Christie's Appliance and Mattress Company. 65 years of service with exclusive anniversary sale savings on your favorite brands like GE, KitchenAid, Bosch, Whirlpool, Frigidaire, Beautyrest, and more. Get ready for the holidays with no interest till 2023. So come celebrate 65 years with Tucson's number one hometown appliance stores at Christie's Appliance and Mattress Company. The holidays will soon be here, and with the pandemic, families in Southern Arizona need our help now more than ever. 
News 4 Tucson and our community partners are coming together for the 13th annual KBOA Season for Hope. Families need canned food, new toys, and packaged diapers. I'm Scott Lehman, dealer for the people, and I'm proud to be part of Season for Hope. You can drop off a donation at Premier Auto Center at the corner of Floyd Wells and Wetmore, and thank you for helping families in need. Go to kboa.com slash season for hope. Tucson, it's time to sparkle again with a little help from Caldwell Jewelers. Show your loved one, partner, and best friend what they mean to you with an extraordinary piece of jewelry from Caldwell Jewelers. Caldwell Jewelry never goes out of style. Beautiful jewelry is worn every day and serves as a daily reminder that love is special. This holiday, say it with Tucson's trusted jeweler since 1979. Caldwell Jewelers, and let's sparkle again. Don't just get ready, get holiday ready with the perfect holiday gift at Jim Click and Homes Tuttle Ford during the Get Holiday Ready sales event. Shop almost 300 new Fords available now with incredible offers like 0% for 60 months on almost 200 new 2021 F-150s, edges, and escapes. Plus, get an additional $500 off MSRP. Get holiday ready at any of our three Ford locations or beat the crowds 24-7 at JimClickFord or HomesTuttle.com. Investigating for you. This is Tucson Today. Good morning and thank you for joining us. I'm Destiny Quinn. And I'm Robbie Reynolds. We're going to start with a look at your forecast as you head out the door for the holidays. And we heard some rain last night, Shay. Yes, we got a little bit of rainfall last night and into this morning. We are beginning to dry out, though, but we are not done with the rainfall just yet. We have a little bit more on the way, uh, especially later today. But I do want to take a look at the Thanksgiving travel. This is just a look at uh, airport delays. And as you can see, we do not have any across the board from Tucson all the way to Los Angeles to Chicago to Las Vegas. Looking good. Uh, zero minutes of delay. So that is good. Uh, of course, we'll keep a close eye on this for you. But much of the country is pretty quiet right now. Uh, some spots, of course, waking up very cold, uh, like the southeast, but we are waking up to a little bit of rainfall across parts of New Mexico and, of course, eastern Arizona. A little bit of snowfall in the higher terrain of uh, Colorado up towards Wyoming, but not causing any delays at the moment. Zooming in a little closer to home, yes, we've got a little bit of rain on the board. It smells so good outside. Finally waking up to some rainfall after about 50 days of dry time. Over the dry time, we got a little bit of rainfall coming down in uh, parts of Cochise County, especially up towards Wilcox. So let's go ahead and zoom in a little closer and put this on a pause. All the heavier rain uh, pretty much south of Wilcox, but we do have some pockets passing over the I-10 that could cause some slowdowns, a little bit of uh, low visibility, of course, wet roadways too, so give yourself a little bit of extra time if you're traveling in that direction. Temp wise, we're a little cooler compared to this time yesterday, but still not as cold as we have been. So temps right now mainly in the mid to upper 40s, low to mid 50s too. Uh, here in Tucson, we're sitting at 57. Same thing for Casa Grande, low 60s up in Phoenix. But we do have a cold front that's going to pass through the state today, and this is going to help drop our temperatures down to average. And it's also going to bring another opportunity for some rainfall, especially later on today, this afternoon, and tonight. And some of these showers could linger the first half of Thanksgiving day, but we're not expecting any big travel delays or anything like that other than some wet roadways tomorrow morning uh, should not cause any big uh, delays for tomorrow at the airports or even on the roadways, but about a 20 to 50% chance later on tonight into tomorrow. But just looking at the rest of your morning and into the afternoon, we'll actually see a little bit of sunshine the first half of the day before clouds increase again as that front approaches high temps in the low 70s, which is much closer to average, and then we'll get even closer to that average of 71 tomorrow. That is a check of weather. Now let's go ahead and take a look at traffic and we're going to go ahead and take a look at your uh, road conditions map. Uh, most of us are beginning to dry out here in eastern Pima County. Still some wet spots out towards Cochise, Graham and Greenlee County. So this is the only thing that could maybe slow you down a little bit, but nothing major. No big delays out there this morning. Robbie. Thank you, Shay. Well, as we head into the holiday weekend, people who are driving to see family and friends this Thanksgiving will find the highest prices at the gas pumps in eight years. President Biden is taking action to try to give American drivers some relief, but analysts say it will take time. Chris Ballone has more from Washington. Good morning, Chris. Good morning, Robbie and Destiny. Nearly 50 million Americans are expected to hit the road this holiday weekend, and President Biden says relief from high gas prices is on the way. For some, it can't come soon enough. If you've driven a car recently, you know. It's high. What we can do. 
The average gallon of gas is up about $1.30 over last Thanksgiving when many of us stayed home because of the pandemic. Before heading to Massachusetts to celebrate with his family, President Biden took an unusual step to try to provide drivers some relief. It will take time, but before long, you should see the price of gas drop where you fill up your tank. He ordered the release of 50 million barrels of oil from the nation's strategic petroleum reserve, joining several other countries taking similar steps, hoping to force OPEC to pump more oil to meet worldwide demand. This is really a game of chess against OPEC and other oil producing nations. Analysts and critics say any effect on prices will take some time and will likely be minimal. Keep in mind this is happening globally. Um, and so uh, until things kind of settle down, until uh, oil production can catch up, we're going to be digging deeper when we fill our tanks. But while relief at the pump might be hard to come by, the president says things should be improving as people look for their favorite goods and gifts at stores from coast to coast. In the past three weeks, the number of containers sitting on docks blocking movement are down by 33 percent. Shipping prices are down 25 percent. More goods are moving more quickly and more cheaply out of our ports, onto your doorsteps and on the store shelves. The challenges of getting back to normal as the world emerges from the pandemic. Several Republicans criticized the president for tapping the strategic petroleum reserve, with one calling the move nothing more than a gesture. In Washington, Chris Below, News 4 Tucson, Robbie and Destiny, back to you. Thank you, Chris. We're one day away from Thanksgiving and in one of the busiest travel seasons of the year. News for Tucson, Nicole Costantino is live from Tucson International Airport this morning with what travelers need to know before hitting the roads and the skies. Good morning, Nicole. Robbie Destiny, good morning. If you haven't traveled during the pandemic, then you might not notice a difference this year because things are expected to be busy. According to AAA Arizona, 53 million Americans are expected to travel this Thanksgiving. 4 million by air, 48 million by car. AAA says with the U.S. borders now open to international travelers, be prepared for things to be noticeably more crowded and be prepared. I talked to the executive vice president and chief operations officer of the Tucson Airport Authority about how passengers can stay ahead of the game this week. Passengers flying around the holidays should expect all the flights uh, to be basically 100 percent full. So we're recommending for people to get here about 90 minutes early to make sure they can comfortably get through the ticketing check-in through security and have plenty of time on the other side of uh, security. No issues, uh, you know, traveling here a couple of times now. Um, everyone seems to be following the protocol set in place. While there aren't vaccine mandates to travel in the U.S., the federal mask requirement is still in effect. That means you have to wear it even if you're vaccinated in airports and on planes. Tucson International expects about 60,000 passengers to travel through its gates. And the busiest days to travel are yesterday, today, and the Sunday and Monday after Thanksgiving. If you do have to travel later on today, here's a look at the one of the TSA check-in lines. It's just getting a little longer, but obviously uh, not much. So if you plan to be prepared and come in early, now's a good time, but we'll check in um, in just a little bit. Robbie Destiny. Thank you, Nicole. Up next, we have a preview of a holiday tradition with some furry friends. More on what you can expect this year. Plus, the American Red Cross is asking for the public's help as it continues to suffer from a blood shortage. It's 537. Stay with us. News for Tucson Skynet is sponsored by Solar Solutions AZ. The Window Depot is now your spot for in-stock Milgard windows. Visit any of our Tucson locations for Milgard vinyl windows today. And Milgard special orders are no problem. Milgard windows, clearly the best in stock, only at the Window Depot. We're Furniture Connection. This is where it gets good. For 30 years, Furniture Connection has connected Tucson with the finest furnishing. Visit our gigantic showroom filled with sofa, sectional love seats, recliners, bedroom sets, dining sets, mattresses, home office, and much more. Shop now and check out our low price guarantee. We have Furniture Connection. This is where it gets good. When you make a same game parlay bet on FanDuel Sportsbook, you can make this, plus this, then this, all add up to... No way. No way. No, no way. way. We did it! We did it! 
I did it! All game long. With FanDuel, America's number one sports book, make all your favorite moments of the game add up to one awesome moment. This week, all customers who play same game parlay bets on NFL games get up to a hundred dollar bonus, win or lose. The problem with coffee is that you have to make coffee before you've had coffee. Good thing all you have to do is head over to Mickey D's. Now at McDonald's, get any size premium roast coffee for just a dollar. Ba da ba ba ba. Dear Detour, you took us off road on the gnarliest trails. You asked us to measure up. So yeah, we did. When life slings you mud, sling it right back. Stay strong, Toyota Trucks. Every new Toyota comes with Toyota Care, our no-cost maintenance plan. Visit your local Toyota dealer today. Find yours at toyota.com. Toyota, let's go places. The Southern Arizona Heritage and Visitor Center is open daily from 10 a.m. to 5 p.m. inside the historic Pima County Courthouse. Enjoy the interactive displays and exhibits with your friends, family, and visitors. Learn more at visitsouthernarizona.com. The Window Depot is now your spot for in-stock Milgard windows. Visit any of our Tucson locations for Milgard vinyl windows today. And Milgard special orders are no problem. Milgard windows. Clearly the best in stock, only at the Window Depot. Are you looking for Black Friday savings on the mattress of your dreams? During our Black Friday event, you can get a Sealy Posturepedic Resort Queen mattress for only $449. Don't accept an imitation. Sealy Posturepedic is designed to provide additional back support where you need it most. Experience for yourself why Sealy has been voted number one most trusted mattress brand in America. Get free delivery, plus we'll haul your old mattress away. And get up to five years of special financing and up to $200 in free accessories and furniture or a free frame and pillows. Your choice. Visit us today, only at Sam Levitt's. News for Tucson, sponsored by Big O Tires. Well, was Thanksgiving without the Macy's Parade? Turkey and stuffing and some football too, right? But one holiday tradition we cannot forget is the National Dog Show right here on KVOA. Mark Barger has a preview. Time to get up close and personal with pooches again. John O'Hurley and David Fry hosting the 20th anniversary of the National Dog Show. When we began back in 2002, we were lucky enough to have 19 million people surprise us and watch our first show. Today, we uh, expect audiences of uh, up to 30 million watching the show. A pandemic impacted event last year saw cutouts. cardboard cutouts completely replace fans and even the host worked remotely. This year, the human herd still thinned a bit but more than 200 dog breeds will be taking part, including the newest, the Beaver Terrier. Um, looks a little bit like a Yorkie, except it's got white in it. It's a little bit larger than a Yorkie, but not much. Sweet little dogs. I'm, I'm surprised it took them so long to get to the party. And it is indeed a party. Ideal specimens strutting their stuff and trying to charm the judges, as did last year's winner, a Scottish deerhound named Claire. They also have to have a bit of, uh, of charisma and personality, if you will, in the ring. It's a dog show, and you got a show. Can you win? Getting an up-close look at the backstage preparation, O'Hurley's 14-year-old son, William. I remember what I've always told you. If you pick through all of this hair and you find only one eye, you've got the wrong end of the dog. And even after watching these regal canines, Fry has a suggestion for the nation's more than 60 million dog owners. When it's all over, lean over, hug your dog and say, you're my best in show dog. No judging needed for that. Mark Barker, NBC News. Give thanks to an hour of unexpected leftovers. Sammy, pumpkin fries, and soup. Then he had us at Tater Tacos, but Chef Curtis Stone drops dessert too. Plus, Tia Mowry, next Rachel. Rachel Ray, today at 11. All new Oz. Whether they corner you at a party. Do you think I could have cancer? Or claim to know it all. When did you get a PhD? We've got the cure for your family's holiday hypochondria. Dr. Oz, today at 2. This morning on Today, our Thanksgiving tradition is back. Join us as we get the holiday started with 21 Top Chefs of 2021 live on the plaza with tips and tricks for your perfect holiday meal. Back together again this morning on Today. Want to save on fast, reliable home internet? Switch to Xfinity for a great low price of $19.99 a month for 12 months. 
Or did you know you may be eligible to qualify to get free internet for a limited time through the Emergency Broadband Benefit Program? That's right. You could qualify for free internet and get equipment included at no extra cost. For even more value, add Xfinity Mobile and you could save up to $400 a year on wireless. Click, call, or visit a store to learn more. There's no better feeling than a win, except a bet MGM win. Goodbye. Woo. That one hurt good. You feel that? Yeah! Now you're winning with the king of sports books. Come on. With permanent and discreet custom LED lighting from Level 5 Lighting, you can change your mood with a click of a button from your phone. Every color imaginable, 20 different movements, and over 100 different patterns to choose from. Take your home from this to Level 5 status. Show your colors on game day and be the best holiday house on the block. Holiday special now. 12 months, no payments, no interest. Get your permanent holiday today. Call now to make your appointment. And don't forget to visit level5lighting.com. Got a tip? Email the investigators or call 955. It's about 545. Now time for weather with meteorologist Shay Sorensen. Shay, wondering, so many people wondering what it's going to be like for the holidays, travel and everything. What, let's take a look at that radar. Uh, yeah, we got a little bit of rain on the board, but it's really not going to impact travel all too much other than wet roadways. So just give yourself a little bit of extra time and you should be okay. No delays at the Tucson International Airport as of now. And most of the country is actually pretty quiet. So that is good if you are planning on traveling today. Now here's a look at the Doppler radar. We do have a little bit of heavy rainfall passing through parts of Cochise County. Other than that, the rest of this stuff is very, very light. So again, not impacting uh, travel all too much, but some of this heavier rain just to the southeast of Wilcox could drop visibility a little bit if you are driving uh, driving around Wilcox. So just keep that in mind. And of course, the roadways are a little bit wet out there too. So give yourself about five, 10 extra minutes and you should be good uh, for those temps feeling uh, pretty nice out there. Uh, not terribly cold, but we are in the 50s across eastern Pima County. Much colder for Mount Lemon at 38. And for the highest peaks on Mount Lemon up towards Radio Ridge, we did pick up a little bit of snow accumulation. It is dark, too dark to see right now, but once that sun starts coming up, we'll show you a live view up there. But we did pick up a little bit of snowfall. Uh, it probably won't stick around all too much because temps will warm into the 50s today, but still a little bit of high elevation snow. Exciting. And to the south Andes, mainly in the 40s and 50s right now, a little bit colder up towards Sholo at 39. Now for your high temps today, much closer to average for this time of year in the upper 60s and low 70s. We are not done with the rain just yet. We have another opportunity later on this afternoon and evening. So some isolated uh, afternoon showers and evening showers are expected. And overnight tonight, temps will drop a little bit more into the 40s and low 50s to the south and east, mainly 60s today. So it's going to be a little bit cooler. We'll see a little bit of sunshine this morning, but then the rainfall returns later on today. So sunshine right around 11 a.m. Couple isolated showers possible up towards Graham and Greenlee County, but then the clouds increase once again and a few spotty showers will develop as early as about 2 p.m mainly on the light side for the rest of the day today, but Cochise County really getting uh, the bulk of the action. So places like Bisbee, for example, could pick up a little bit more rainfall compared to the rest of us. And then by Thanksgiving morning, still kind of dealing with a few lingering light showers, but even this, this isn't going to impact travel all too much other than wet roadways. So you might want to give yourself a little bit of extra time if you're heading to a family member's house or anything like that, but it's it's really going to be a pretty easy morning. And then by 11 a.m. we will begin to dry out. So if you are planning on an outdoor gathering, you should be OK, but it is going to be a little bit breezy at times tomorrow with gusts up to 25 miles per hour. Now for your forecast rainfall through 11 a.m. tomorrow, about a tenth of an inch for Bisbee, maybe just one hundredth of an inch for Benson, Wilcox and Green Valley. So we'll pick up a little bit more before all is said and done, but a lot of us not picking up any additional rainfall. Now for your future pattern, this area of low pressure is going to cut off from the main system and bring in a little bit more moisture this weekend to parts of Arizona, really just right along the international border. That's where we have the best chance for any additional rain. 
Here in Tucson, the Euro and the GFS model are showing nothing for us, but for Sierra Vista, Nogales and Safford, so areas to the south and east, you all still have an opportunity to maybe pick up a little bit more rainfall, but our long range models are kind of disagreeing on how much and who will see it. So we'll keep you updated. Love the turkey sound. Thanksgiving is almost here. Low 70s for your Thursday, little breezy at times, so a little cool if you have an outdoor gathering plan, but beautiful. Back in the mid 70s, Friday, Saturday and Sunday, temps warming even more though by early next week into the upper 70s. Back to you. Thank you, Shay. Multiple smash and grabs are happening in a number of cities over the past few weeks. Now, this is ahead of the holiday season. Britt Conway explains why we might be seeing more of these cases lately. You're looking at a smash and grab. This kind of thing has happened in several big cities recently. Groups of thieves ripping off upscale stores. In L.A. Monday, at least 18 people broke into a Nordstrom. In the San Francisco Bay Area Sunday, a group of thieves swarmed a mall, smashing jewelry cases with hammers. East of the city on Saturday, a mob of some 80 people ransacked Nordstrom there. And like ski masks, crowbars, night, like a bunch of weapons. People had boxes, bags. Oh yeah, oh yeah. It was a crazy scene. Other San Francisco stores got hit Friday, including Louis Vuitton, Burberry, Bloomingdale's, Walgreens, and cannabis dispensaries. They are groups of people coming to target communities. We will be prepared to address it. In suburban Chicago last week, 14 people barged into a Louis Vuitton store. Police say eight people hit this Louis Vuitton also in Chicago last month. Multiple cases, one big question. What is going on? Security experts say there could be a number of issues at play. There's the law enforcement component. These kinds of crimes aren't always a priority, and thieves may face few consequences. Then there's the timing. Stores stock up for holidays. More merchandise means more opportunity. And experts say once something is stolen, there are several ways to easily sell it. We've allowed criminal networks to create a business model selling stolen goods online, and that is what's put this problem on steroids. I'm Britt Conway, reporting. Developing is dead after a shooting on Tucson's east side. Police say officers responded to reports of the shooting last night near 31st and Swan. First responders found the man with gunshot wounds. Police say they are not looking for any suspects at this time. This is the 90th homicide in Tucson this year. A teenager is now in the Pima County Juvenile Detention Center after Mountain View High School was told to, to shelter in place yesterday. Pima County Sheriff deputies responded for reports of a student with, on campus with a weapon. Authorities say no weapon was ever found, though. They did find a 16-year-old nearby who did not attend the school. That child was booked into Juvenile Detention Center for trespassing. Well, more than 2,500 Arizonans are in hospitals across the state this morning with COVID-19. The latest surge comes as many health care workers are feeling burned out. News 4 Tucson's Eric Fink spoke to one therapist who spent more than a year on the front lines, but recently left the critical care setting in the hospital. I'm so burned out like so many other people that I just, I got to a point where I physically could not do the job anymore because of the mental cost. At the start of the pandemic, respiratory therapist Amy Burke went to New York, then the epicenter of the virus in the U.S., and fought COVID's wrath every day. She took the battle back home to Arizona for another year. At the end of June, she just couldn't do it anymore. I saw well over a thousand people die by themselves without their family members. Um, and it just never felt like it was gonna end. And I developed post-traumatic stress disorder and um, I became suicidal. Amy's story is not unique. This latest COVID surge comes with a shortage of health care professionals. For a time Tuesday, Pima County had only 11 open ICU beds, and bed availability often depends on staffing. The amount of trauma I think that the clinical workforce has experienced in the past 18 months has been relentless. Many people, Eric, have left the workforce. Amy now works as a therapist for a home health care company. She says she's happier, but she still struggles with her decision to leave the hospital. I have friends that I was in New York with who are still going around and chasing all the hot spots with COVID. And I have a tremendous amount of guilt for not going to. Right. But um, I also have a family and I need to be there for them. 
Now, Dr. Cullen says many hospitals in Pima County have requested more nurses to join their teams as bed capacity dwindles. Cullen says the federal government is scurrying to make that happen, but with a shortage of nurses, respiratory therapists, and doctors, that's no easy task. I'm Eric Fink, News 4 Tucson. University of Arizona researchers are receiving millions of dollars to help people stop smoking. The $3 million grant from the National Center for Complementary and Integrative Health will help provide interventions through the phone to reach smokers wherever they are. The researchers will partner with community organizations here in Arizona, New York, and West Virginia to recruit 1,200 people to receive an intervention. The American Red Cross is once again in desperate need of blood donations, especially through the upcoming holidays. The nonprofit says it has the lowest blood supply at this time of year in more than a decade. They're asking anyone who is eligible to please donate. As a thank you, those who donate from November 29th through December 16th will be entered into a contest and get a $10 Amazon gift card. The Community Food Bank of Southern Arizona will be back open today after it finished their busiest day of the year yesterday. Organizers say they served at least 1,000 families, which was much busier than normal this time of year. They believe that's partly due to the pandemic. However, this isn't as large as last year when they served more than 2,500 families. News 4 Tucson spoke to a few U of A students who decided to come out and volunteer today. It makes me feel grateful um, that like we actually have this going on for other people. I feel like volunteering, it's just something that makes you feel great. First of all, you, every time after I volunteer, I just feel like I did something to help other people. The food bank will be open today with extended hours from 8 to noon, but will be closed on Thanksgiving. The Gospel Rescue Mission is handing out Thanksgiving meals to go today. It's happening at the H.S. Lopez Family Foundation Center of Opportunity on Palo Verde Road from 11 a.m. to 2 p.m. It's the 33rd Thanksgiving banquet, but the second year the Gospel Rescue Mission is handing out its meals to go. And crews at the Caridad Community Kitchen are hard at work providing free bagged meals. Anyone can get a free grab-and-go meal today from 2 to 4 p.m. at the kitchen near Main Avenue and 2nd Street. It will be closed on Thursday and Friday. Our 13th annual Season for Hope holiday campaign is now in full swing. Every year we team up with sponsors and partners like the Community Food Bank of Southern Arizona, Toys for Tots, and the Diaper Bank of Southern Arizona to help local families. We're looking for food donations, toys, and diapers. Our next live drive is next Monday at Rural Metro Fire Station number 82 in Saurita. We'll grab your skis and snowboards. The Arizona Snow Bowl and Flagstaff is officially opening today. The ski resort delayed the opening due to unusually warm weather. Only expert terrain will be available, while beginner terrain will be unavailable until further notice. Officials say snowmakers are working to produce snow and get more terrain open through the week. This spacecraft is on its way to crash into an asteroid on purpose. Here it is taking off from the Vandenberg Space Force Base in California overnight. NASA's mission is to redirect an asteroid to test NASA's planetary defense technology should the need ever arrive. The spacecraft, called DART, will travel more than 6 million miles to reach the asteroid and collide with it at 50.